Good morning everyone. I thought today I'd go over my meals uh, for the day. Starting off with breakfast. Um, I went out yesterday and even though this is processed stuff, I haven't had any of this in a while. Uh, some pork chorizo. Let me get the camera to focus here. There is, uh, what's that, I think four grams of carbs per serving. I don't plan on using too much. I think the serving size is two and a half ounces. And uh, I'll probably mix some of that with two or three eggs and then I'll top it off with a little bit of cheese. Uh, cheese. Um, we'll have generally one gram or so of carbs. And of course the eggs they don't have any carbs at all. Um, if people are concerned about potential cholesterol with eggs, you can always do egg whites. Um, I prefer to get all the nutrition out of the egg. Um, I have been getting my blood uh, monitored, uh, especially since I have my gallbladder out. Um, a, more of a protein diet could be harsher on the liver without the gallbladder because you don't produce um, or you don't have stores of, of concentrated bile in the gallbladder. So um, this kind of diet can be a little bit more taxing on your liver and stuff. But I have been getting monitored by a doctor to make sure that everything is functioning okay. My cholesterol is still good. So but yeah, this kind of stuff, you know, this is like a, you know, pretty much a call you make on your own. So if I keep the serving sizes correct, that'll be like three carbs, uh, three grams of carbs and not too bad. And I'll get a shot of the, the dish once I've cooked it. I don't have a stand to put my phone on, so uh, sorry for the shaky video. Okay. Here's what we have once it was done. Um, three eggs, about a serving of the chorizo, and uh, sprinkling of cheese. Uh, so that's less than a gram, of a gram of carbs on the cheese because it's not a quarter cup of cheese in there. Um, so, also the processed foods I forgot to mention, uh, obviously they're going to end up being pretty high in sodium. So, anybody who needs to watch out for sodium intake. Um, I generally have to, that's why I try not to eat too much of the processed foods anymore, but um, just scrambled eggs and cheese or mixed with some veggies. Sometimes I'd saute mushrooms and stuff like that. I'm just trying to change things up a little bit. I don't intend on uh, probably, like once that uh, thing of chorizo is done, I probably won't buy, buy some for another month. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and eat breakfast and uh, then I'll, I'll show you guys what I have for lunch. I think I'm just going to have uh, some veggies, steamed veggies and um, a salad for lunch. Okay, plans changed. Um, out at the Asian buffet, which normally a buffet would be like kryptonite for big people. So I have my salad here with some cucumbers in it, uh, some ranch dressing, and then over here I have various different protein items. We have uh, some Kung Pao chicken, uh, some teppanyaki chicken, which has somewhat of a sweet sauce, so yeah, it's a little bit of a fib going out. Uh, some black pepper chicken this, and teriyaki chicken. These are probably the best as far as low carb. And then some Mongolian beef because I like it. Um, the veggies, you probably want to avoid the bell peppers but they kind of came out with it, so I got a few on the plate there. Anyway, that's lunch. Okay, so quick update. This is dinner. It is uh, chicken leg meat with some uh, barbecue sauce on it, so yeah, the carb count's probably, probably more than it should be, but a friend cooked this, so I'm not going to say no. But yeah, generally, 
barbecue sauce, probably not a good idea for Atkins. Especially my barbecue sauce. Yeah, because it has brown sugar and honey and stuff added. So, yeah, it's a bit of a cheat, but it's okay. I'll recover tomorrow. Okay, I just got back from my friend's house after having dinner. I'm going to finish editing this, but uh, today's kind of an example of like when your plans change and um, eating out and eating meals that are a little bit iffy as far as being on the Atkins diet goes. Um, just kind of roll with it and uh, pick up right where you went and uh, go right back to what you were doing the, the previous day. Uh, to, tonight wouldn't have been my typical uh, type of meal to eat simply because the, um, the barbecue sauce and whatnot has too many carbs in it, but um, especially since there was honey and like brown sugar added to the thing, but uh, yeah, sometimes things like that are going to happen and uh, you just got to realize it's like not one meal is going to break your whole deal or even my lunch. You know, which probably had too many carbs in it as well, isn't going to break the whole thing that you just stick to the whole plan. Because for me, this is going to be a long haul deal anyway. Um, it's more of a life change rather than a diet. Um, just going low carb and uh, trying to stick to it. Yeah, days like this when things kind of wrench gets thrown in there and just roll with it. So anyways, um, like I said, I'm going to try to keep these videos shorter than the first one. The first one was the opening and rambling type one. I tend to do that um, a little bit. Um, maybe I'll try to work on scripting the content a little bit more, but like I said, I like to kind of just wing it and do it raw. And uh, So yeah, if that's not your type of thing, then I don't know what else to say. <laughs> so, anyways, um, if you guys like the video, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thumbs up, thumbs down if you didn't like it, and uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow.